So this booth was a little bit like that because I bought for a thousand. I had somebody wanted to buy for for a hundred thousand. I showed to Pamela Anderson, who at the time had one of the most watched TV shows in in the world. They watched. She accepted. Then I was able to attract the director of, a, of one of my favorite films, one of my favorite comedies, Porky's, Bob Clark, and then Denise Richards. And within thirty days, we're shooting the movie, which is kind of hard. It usually takes a year, two, or three. In the case of a of a Forrest Gump, it took 10 years for Robert to get the movie done. So within a month, we had the money in the bank and we started production. But at the time, Denise Richards, who was divorcing from Charlie Sheen, uh, was being chased by the paparazzi. And one of the paparazzi came to take a photo of her. She, she chased him, took his camera, and threw it from the third floor in a hotel room, in, I mean, a, in a casino. And a piece of the camera hit a lady in a wheelchair and we ended up with a lawsuit for a million dollars. That was a handy. If that, was, if that wasn't enough, then Pamela Anderson's uh, son had a cut on his feet and she canceled production also for a day, which cost, cost us a lot of money. So, I mean, sometimes you have to deal with all these, these issues that can be very draining. That's what you get for making a movie about blondes. That's it. <laughs> and that's my weakness, you know. I thought that that was my here, here. Being from Brazil, you know, not too many blondes there. I was in heaven, you know. <laughs> Little I knew. <laughs> Could you please change the slide? Another thing I like a lot on documentaries for several reasons. First of all, they're cheaper to make, and it's a short, actually a short way towards the Oscars. You know, like if you have a, an interesting subject matter and, and exclusive access, it's easier for you to to get uh, to get uh, to get it done and to get it maybe nominated. The documentary on the left side called Kidnapping uh, was on the short list for the Oscars. It's something that we uh, on the late nineties in Brazil. <laughs> They were having a lot of kidnappings that were they like they would try to rob money from somebody. If they didn't have money, they would take them to the ATM machines. So they're like they call it kidnappings, but it would be, I, 